Today we're going to make a caramel snack mix with the holidays upon us and it's snowing outside, it's beautiful weather today. Um, so I, I thought that we would make something for the holidays and our, our family is used to having puppy chow and the, you know the regular traditional um, corn checks mix with, with the various things. Well this one is called a caramel snack mix. So we're going to take a cup of brown sugar three quarters of a cup of, it's, it calls for carol syrup, but you can use any kind of syrup. This is actually a light corn syrup that I use. And then we're going to have one stick of butter. You put your ingredients together and then you melt this in the microwave until the butter melts. So it takes about two minutes or so to get your butter melted. And if you start with the butter being a little bit softer, then it will um, melt a little bit faster for you. One stick of butter. It's nice to try some different recipes. I know our, our kids like to come home and always look forward to coming home at, at Christmas time during and during the holidays and. And I think, you know, for the, the kids growing up, it's always fun to try, you know, some, some new things. And they're always just waiting to see what we've got made for them, you know, when they get home. So I thought it'd be kind of fun to try something different. This would also be a nice item if you're going to a, a, a holiday party. You might not necessarily take it you know for the party because usually your host is going to have everything already set as to what they are planning to have for their party but you can make up a you know little gift bag or, or something like that and just take it along for a little gift so i'm just going to put this on high for about two minutes and while i do that then i'm going to get the rest of my ingredients ready so first before i, I put my ingredients in here we're going to just use an, uh, it's something like Pam it's just a vegetable oil this is actually canola oil so that works calls for a 12 ounce box of uh, crispix it doesn't say crispix but one side is rice and the other side is corn so we've looked and that's this is the only kind that we've actually found um, is, is the Crispix brand. So when you're putting this in, you, you wanna try not to get all of the, the crumbs from the bottom. So you wanna try to keep as many whole pieces as you can. We'll do the best that we can. Put those, leave the crumbs there. If you can find another off-brand, you know, it's, it doesn't really matter whether it's the, the a generic brand or a manufacturer's brand, like Kellogg's or, you know, whatever, but... So I think that's good. Yeah, the butter is starting to bubble a little bit, so I'm just going to take it out and stir it. If you've ever made, you know, caramel corn, caramel popcorn, or toffee, it's, it's almost the same consistency when you um, are, are melting your butter, brown sugar, and carol syrup in the microwave. A little bit while longer. And then we're going to take a cup of almonds. and then a cup of pecans. I think it says to, um, to cut your, your pecans, but I, I like them whole, so that's what I'm gonna do. And if you add some extras, that's fine too. I'm just gonna stir this around a little bit with my hands, and then we're almost ready here. I think this is a good consistency and the butter is melted. We've got that all mixed up. So now we're just going to stir in 
a brown sugar mixture. We want to get that all stirred in real well. Like I said, we've, we've made puppy chow and the other corn checks. And there was actually a recipe that my son Michael had given me that has, I think it's cake mix in it or, or something. And they weren't quite as fond of that. So I'm not planning to make that one this year. But this will have a nice caramel taste. You do want to be careful though if you have some, for those of us who have fillings in our, our teeth, and if they're soft, you might want to be careful that the, it's just like caramel corn and some other you know things that have caramel in them can be very bad on your fillings. So you might want to just be careful and eat it gingerly before you decide that it's the right thing or not. So we have that all set to go, and we're going to put it in a preheated 275 degree oven. We're going to bake it for one hour, and we're going to be turning it every 15 minutes. So I'll set the timer. And every 15 minutes we're going to turn it, and then we'll see what happens when we're, we're done. Okay, now I'm going to stir this. I got the two pans. I'm going to stir for uh, one, one last time. This is the fourth time. Um, every 15 minutes, as I said, you're going to be stirring it to, to get your mix all coated real well. So we're going to give it one more 15 minutes and then they'll be done. Okay, we've got less than a minute until we take it out and after they have, after you take it, your pans out of the oven, you'll want to continue to stir until they cool down um, and that's to prevent the mix from getting in a, a big clump and I have made this, well I made one, one other batch so far and I can understand how that can happen as it's the hardening, the caramel part is hardening, it's going to get really hard unless you keep it stirred and um, and that really helps a lot. So we'll just finish this up and then we're just about ready to take it out. So I'm going to take these out. As I said, I'm going to stir one more time and then I'll just continue stirring. I'll take it off of the oven because it does stay a little bit warm on top of the oven. And then we'll just keep stirring. If you like caramel, um, I think you'll enjoy this. If you have dentures, you might have a problem because it can kind of get stuck in your teeth. So I'm just going to put them over here to cool a little bit. The recipe that I made earlier in the day, I actually made to have for my, um, my assistants at work. I work at the DW Library. So when you get it all stirred up, it's, it's kind of clumpy right now, but when you continue stirring and it cools down, this is actually how it gets, which is you know kind of nice, I think. So I fixed some little bags. Um, you can buy these little bags. I actually purchased them at Walmart in the the Christmas aisle. We looked at lots of other stores and I couldn't find them, but I wanted to do some, some Christmas bags and give to people. And I think it'd be also fun if you are going to some holiday parties and you want to take a, along just a little treat. You can you know, take something like that. If you want it about that full, it actually takes probably about almost two cups to put in there. And these come with the little ties, which you can tie around your bag. And then just to give it a little bit more color, then I use some curling ribbon, which I think adds a little extra festivity to the bags on the ring. So anyway, so it makes kind of a cute little um, gift, I think, whether you give it to your students or maybe your, your kids even want to give their, their teacher something even after the holidays, if, if you're still 
making some some new things so I hope that you enjoyed this new uh, snack that, that we've made today and I hope you have a, a wonderful um, holiday season and enjoy Christmas and New Year's and all of the wonderful events that will be coming up. I know it's a busy time of year, so it's nice to have a few things made ahead. So from A Slice of Heaven, I hope you've enjoyed this episode and happy cooking.